astrotometry log. It's 6.49 UTC on July 29th at the time of this recording. This is a cancellation of the previous earthquake watch from a coronal disturbance and associated geomagnetic anomaly associated with this coronal hall. And the x-ray activity has increased significantly since the time of the watch. And in astrotometry it's understood that this stream of uh, electrical energy that comes uh, from these areas where the solar corona is um, compromised moves in a sort of uh, sheet that spirals through space. This is the, the current solar physics uh, dogma on this. Um, and these active regions, um, or the coronal holes, whichever way you want to um, and now analyze it, um, have these streams of particles that uh, make a spiral through space and they travel at a certain speed which is much less than the x-rays and so when you get x-ray activity if you consider if let's say this this planet right here is the earth and if you consider the width of this as representing the magnitude of this disturbance for example and you have an x-ray burst that comes through uh, this spiral, and these are actually uh, multi-layered spirals. So you've got this disturbance, you've got an x-ray uh, that comes through it, that pushes through it. It breaks it up, and it makes it so that the Earth has more opportunity for um, multiple hypertime translation rather than uh, it being dictated by a particular uh, inconsistency uh, from the magnetic fields. And the geomagnetic storm was very weak. It was only uh, a G1 storm for a fairly small amount of time, less than a day, which is kind of what you would expect from a uh, coronal hole that's not as uh, deep. Another thing, another indicator for this um, is the contrast ratio here the ratio of the contrast between the uh, hole here and the active regions around it. And as I mentioned before, this O, or the SDO, excuse me, the SDO um, system is brand new, and we don't really, I don't really have a, um, a history of analyzing this. And while this does look like a, a serious contrast here, that's because this is a very, very narrow bandwidth. This is 193 angstroms. This is 195 angstroms, but the contrast is, is different because of the instrument. It's not because it's a, it necessarily a, a deeper coronal hole. And so I think because SOHO was baked out, um, there were people who were looking at this and going, oh my gosh, you know, um, what's astrotometry going to say about this? Well, I'm canceling the watch because I think that we've seen all of the 6.5 plus um, quakes we're going to see for a while in the northern hemisphere. So um, there has been several people who have talked about uh, 9.0 quakes coming, stuff like that, and um, I just want to make sure that no one thinks that that's coming from uh, my analysis. Again, the geomagnetic storm was fairly um, insignificant. You know, I thought there might be a possibility of additional um, activity 6.5 plus activity because of this. I wasn't expecting a big quake though from this. Usually if there's a big quake the contrast is much higher and you know like I said Soho was baked out but the um, the wind speed, the slow wind speed is still fairly high but I'm suspecting that when this goes back down or as it goes back down that we're not going to see significant quake activity. Of course that's not that's not for certain. You know this is not suitable for uh, emergency response. Um, I mean, uh, the track record I have, I think, with astrotometry is is fairly is fairly significant and noteworthy. But it's not um, it's not completely done. This is an experimental product. So thanks for watching.